Yeah, we've stuff. had some really positive feedback on uh, on what we're doing in, in, in Varsity Sports. Um, but if you go back, Varsity Cup Rugby, when, when we approached South African Rugby Union with the idea, it was it was frowned upon, you know, and some of the uh, some of the administrators didn't want it, didn't want to support us. But fortunately, one or two had the, uh, saw the vision. And if it wasn't for that, just look at the talent that's come through. Um, but also look at what's happened to those communities and the universities. It's just, uh, sport is such a powerful tool uh, because it cuts across everything. It cuts across race, religion, creed, nationalities, um, and it gives people an opportunity to to celebrate their, their tribe or their togetherness. You know, where, when Wade won gold in the way he did, I mean, there, was not, there wouldn't have been a person in South Africa that wouldn't have jumped up and felt their most immense pride. It happens when our rugby team does well. It happens when Bafana Bafana plays well. So that, that's, that's the power of sport. Believe for talent. So if you look at the talent, individual talent that's coming through, coaching talent that's coming through, administrators that are coming through, and that can only stay in South African sport in good stead. Um, the fact that there's a platform now at universities for people that are late developers, you know, or that have picked a, a different sporting code and now wants to change, that can showcase how good they are on television representing the universities. Um, so I know from a rugby perspective, a lot of the uh, super rugby unions watch Varsity Cup to, uh, to see who the, who the next uh, players that they want to sign. Because that player might have missed selection for some bizarre reason, or he might have just, you know, had his growth spurt much later, or decided to play rugby uh, a lot later. And, and now there's, there's a trampoline for him.